welcome back to the channel guys today I'm in Tideswell uh, Tideswell is another of the small villages in the Peak District and Tideswell has a magnificent 14th century church which is also known as the Peak Cathedral I'm gonna find that and have a damn good look at it as you can see once again it's all beautiful sandstone cottages this little tiny street here these lovely, lovely cottages. Gonna have a good look round and find this incredible 14th century church. I'm just hoping to God, <laughs> did you hear that? That I can gain entry and have a good look at it. Because I do believe it's absolutely incredibly splendid. This looks like the heart of the village. Pie Master General is over there. You never go with it anywhere without Pie Master General. There's my car, Honda. Right, let's get exploring and have a good look around. In Fountain Square, here's the Fountain Square Church. Sunny League Cottage, Coronation Cottage. Tiny, beautiful, aren't they? Here we've got some information about Tideswell itself. Historic village surrounded by the beautiful white peak countryside of fields and dales. An Anglo-Saxon called Tidi founded the village over 1,300 years ago. He gave Tideswell its name and may be buried on Tides Slow. In Fountain Square, the first public water supply in the village. Good grief. Right, there's the map. Now to explore. Ooh. Ooh, beautiful. How quaint are these ginnels between the houses? Wow. Lights are covered in cobwebs. Look at that. <laughs> it's like being in a medieval castle. Now right behind me is that magnificent church. I'll get over there shortly. First of all, have a look at Tyndall's Bakery. Oh, yeah. Sandwiches, oh, pies and pasties. Hot and cold drinks, takeaway. And a defibrillator. Oh, look inside there. I think Les is after a pie, so let's get in. Hey. Here it is. Welcome to St John the Baptist, Tideswell. Oh, this building is incredibly beautiful. Look at that. Oh. We'll get inside. There is a door open. I'm hoping to God we can actually go in. I will ask permission to film in there. I won't just walk in with the camera. Look at this beautiful entrance entrance of trees and all the autumn leaves on the ground so there's even Christmas tree lights oh how lucky is that what an incredible building 14th century church fondly known as the Peak Cathedral stunning stunning architecture the colours show the age of the stone oh wow oh, wow I've been living opposite this Little houses up on the hill there. The one on the right looks like it needs a bit of decorating. <laughs> Let's see if I can go in. It's the church. N.T. Gibbs, the local butcher, the inside's well. Organic chicken and pork. But look at this. Half pig experience. 225 pound. Oh, that sounds right up my street, that does. 
they do deliveries obviously but uh, the shop's not open what a shame Ah, oh, there's that church in the distance. So looking forward to seeing that. Peaches, here's a little fruit and veg store. Very much the one like I filmed the other day. That's great, isn't it? I do so love these little carts outside displaying the fruit and veg. Absolutely beautiful. Very village, very villagey. Very villagey indeed. By Master striding ahead. Look at this glorious sandstone. Look at this. That's fantastic. They look so small, the doorways look so small. Nelly's Cafe. Princess Cottage. He's set back there. A few more cottages. Glorious sandstone. Right, let's get over towards that church. And just here is the roost. Extra seating upstairs, but as you can see, this is where our local constabulary, or the local constabulary, constabulary, has his breakfast. <laughs> Amazing. Don't know how they'll feel about being filmed, but they're only human, they've got to eat, haven't they? They've got to eat. Corner Chippy. So named because it's actually on the corner. <laughs> oh, look at this. Great little street. Love all these little windy roads. It's getting access to the village. To get in and out basically. Bit of remedial work going on over there. Reconstruction. Good morning. Good morning. Alright. Good day for a ramble, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, look at this. What have we got here? Oh, second hand books. Very nice building. Second hand books, isn't it? And just over the road there, something of interest. So I'm going to take a look. All the birds, all the birds. Marky Gate House. Okay. Nice. Ah, said to be the oldest dwelling in Tideswell, built in 1432. Good grief. The stone front, front door survived in the 1500s. Made alterations in 1654, shaped how the house looks today. Wow, get a load of that door and the surrounding stone. Certainly old. Wow. Marky Gate House. God, which lucky person lives in there. Oh, look how. Wow, look how low this is. Got a stoop to get in. Good grief. Oh, the lights came on automatically. That's nice, isn't it? Heavens above. So if you're as tall as me. You are going to bang your noggin. <laughs> oh, like I just did. I'm just hoping my camera in this darkness could pick out this window. And also the fabulous, fabulous architecture. What a stunning place. Gosh, it's so peaceful. As well. There's lots of little things to buy. A few children. Bookstore. Carts. Oh, it's lovely. 
absolutely lovely. Good morning. Good morning. Glorious place. It's really cold in here, naturally. The stained glass windows are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Look at that. Here we have the organ. I hope you can see the pipes on there. We give thanks to the... Oh, what a stunning place. A little more light here, natural light. Wow. Oh, look at this tiny little organ here. Wow. Sir Samson Meverell. Born 29th of September. 1388. Good grief. He fought at the Siege of Orleans and against Joan of Arc's forces. He seems to have had an aggressive personality. Good grief. Oh, look at those wonderful statues as well. Wow, that's beautiful. Mm. Amazing. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a look inside this church as much as I have. I do love churches. Look at these little carvings as well. In front of the pews. Awesome. Right, I'm going to go back out to the street. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. If you like churches, my God, you're going to like this one. Right, I'm going back outside now. One last look at this gorgeous, gorgeous church before I venture further on into the village. Absolutely blown away by the architecture and the beauty and splendour of this place. Unbelievable. Replacing the obsolete lighting and rewiring the church. Cathedral of the Peak, Urgent Appeal 4. Wow, they've raised £54,738 to date. Oh, brilliant. Well done, people of Tides. Well, well done, anybody who's donated here. I'm going to go back in and leave some money myself. Because this place cannot go to rack and ruin. Far too beautiful for that. Right next to the church we've got the Georgian. Looks nice doesn't it? Cow Park Notice. Over here the Merchant's Yard. Restaurant and rooms. The noisy vehicle passing on my right. Very big one. Right, here's the merchant's yard. Let's pop in and have a little look around. So another little church tower up there. Hmm. Aha. <laughs> Ooh. The courtyard. How good's this? See the way the lights flicker on the camera. Look like living flames, don't they? But they're not. Merchant's Yard. Oh, isn't this great? There's the bar. Little spiral staircase to something. Look at this. Outdoor living. Did the little oven there. Brilliant. Get pieces in there. 
And I do love my pizzas. The cleaning in there at present. Oh, this is so nice. The sink. And soap. That's pretty, isn't it? Ooh. Brilliant bar stools. Not to go here. They're cleaning up at present. They're cleaning up. How quaint. I love this. I love this. Oh, imagine summertime, start out here. Pizza's in the pizza oven there. I'm sitting outside in the courtyard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm into this place, big time. Of all the villages I've visited in the Peak District, this is one of the nicest I've been to. Really is spectacular. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Should you have a look? Which way should we go? That way? That way? We've been that way. Too late, I'll decide myself. <laughs> We're not a baker. It's nice in there. We've got like relatively new builds. And here's Tideswell Community Hall. Also built in keeping with the stone of the village. The reason I've come here is because something caught my eye from the bottom of this hill and I had to come and see it. Cliffside is a steep hill. But this property here has got this amazing dragon carving in wood. An old Texaco pump! Wow! Oh, look at this! I don't know whether the residents made that. If they did, they're hugely talented without a shadow of a doubt. And there's a bear over there next to the uh, Texaco pump. I didn't realise that. That's just awesome, that is. A double-headed dragoon. Well, from up here you can see the church nicely. Look at the old walls. Gosh. And we're privy to the bells once again. I haven't got my drone with me today, but I'm up here. I don't need it, you can see. Tops of the buildings, the way they bow. I don't know whether they were structurally made that way or that's just what the weather's done to them. I don't quite know. Look down into the village. Isn't it grand? Lovely kept hedges up there. Oh, I'm out of breath. Trying to catch my breath and wander further. For more looks. Hello again. I've had permission to come inside Tyndall's Bakery. And the owners, just for a quick look inside this beautiful, beautiful little bakery in the village of Tideswell. Look at the goods. Look at some of the goods you can purchase. And yes, Les, the pie master, has already bought pies. So we're not going away empty handed. Sorts of homemade jams. Beautiful. And the bread looks fantastic. As a baker myself, I've had many, many years' experience of making these. As you can see in the back there, the old Chandler ovens. I can only imagine next door is either a convector oven or a prover. A nice selection of cheeses. And look at the glaze on these fantastic pasties, sausage rolls, pies. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, I am hungry, but Les has already been in. He's got a pie. I will be consuming that. As soon as I make my way out of it, I'll look at the size of the chocolate chip cookies. Absolute heaven. Right. I'll say goodbye to the owners. They don't want to be on film, the owners, so I will say goodbye. And I'll thank you once again for letting me in. Thank you. You'll be you on you. Uh, Mac Man. Mac. Mac Man. M A. M A double C man, Mac man. Okay. Yeah, I do lots of uh, Peak District villages, right. and I've got to admit, this is the nicest one I've been to. Honestly, I've been to all over the place. Ashford on the Water, I've been to Eum, 
and this this is just phenomenal that church oh wow oh that's my favorite part of today eh? oh yes yeah i was reading i was reading up all about it before i came here 14th century whoa that's pretty impressive all right i won't put you you're not on camera so but thank you very very much for being such super sports thank you there you go in the people are wonderful right i'm going to wrap this one up here um i'm enamored with this place i really am of all the places i've been to like i've just said before on this video this is one of the nicest places i've been to nice and peaceful the people are just brilliant and so many interesting things to see look at the architecture the cottages <laughs> The little shots. Oh, big time, yeah. And who might you be? I'm the hairdresser. You're the hairdresser? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've done a nice comprehensive video of the place. Lovely. Because this is amazing, Tideswell. I've never been here before. Really? I've been to so many Pig District villages all over the Pig District and I've come here today because of the church mainly. I had to see that. I've been in, I've filmed you know, there's in there. There's a night of the round table, uh, the, uh, there's a night in there. Yeah. From the, from the uh, crusade. Oh God, where really? Oh, in the, in the back to the right on the chancel, there's a, there's a video. There's I must one have one. missed it. Yeah, it's one oh. of the uh, knights, one of the knights is in there. Oh, good grief. Yeah, one of the round table, one of the, the crusaders is buried in that church. Oh, wow. Well, that's interesting. Very. Why? I'm glad you told me that because I didn't know that I missed that. And there's all the t Ten Commandments on the wall as yeah. well. That's a gorgeous place. If you go, if you go there, to, in that chancel part there, he's lying in there. Oh right. One of the crusade, crusaders in that in that chancel in the church. Oh brilliant! Thank go, you very go, much. Go see that. If you want to check out Macman on YouTube, I will do. It's M A W C Man Macman. Oh, I'm looking at you now. Uh, there's lots of videos of different places in the Big District. Uh, I've got one of Castleton that I haven't published yet, but will be going on very very shortly. Perfect. But this is just I love doing this. It's great. I normally fly a drone. But I'm not going to fly a drone over here. It's, uh, yeah, it'll break the peace, and I don't want that. No. <laughs> hey, thank you for the chat. Thank you for the information. It's a pleasure. Nice you're a gentleman. You. What's your name? Jason. What's yours? Mark. Mark. Hi, Mark. Jason, you're a star. And you. Thank you very much. All the best. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Send me. Look at that. Great people. Beautiful village. Couldn't ask for more. As I say, now I am going to wrap this one up now. And I get back in my car, my little Honda. Uh, make my way somewhere else or go home. So, Macman signing off. Adios y hasta luego. Mi amigos y amigas. Bye bye.